We begin with the latest on the 4th of July tragedy in Highland Park, Illinois. This morning, we're finding out more about the victims and the horrific attack, including the parents of a two-year-old boy, both parents killed, tragically leaving that boy an orphan. Every victim lived in Highland Park except for one. And new into the newsroom, the state of Illinois has released what they plan to charge the shooter, Robert Cremo III, with. We will break down those charges shortly. But first, our Kelsey Kernstein has more on these seven victims now. Kelsey, what can you tell us? Mitch, we are learning that shooter, he shot 70 rounds of gunfire. Seven are dead, like you said, and the number of injured, that number now more than 45. The community grieving the losses. A community shattered and coming together to grieve another mass shooting in America. Overnight, residents of affluent Highland Park gathered to remember the victims of Monday's 4th of July shooting. <laughs> Just hours earlier, a seventh victim died of their injuries, but their identity has not yet been released. This morning, we're also learning new information on the six other victims who died while celebrating America's independence. 78 year old Nicholas Torlito was a Mexican citizen visiting family in town. Other residents of Highland Park, like 64 year old Catherine Goldstein and 88 year old Steven Strauss. Jackie Sunheim was a well known staffer at a nearby synagogue where she was a lifelong member. The Lake County State's attorney remembered the lives cut short. All of the people who died steps from here lost their freedom. All of it. Every ounce of freedom that they had the freedom to love, the freedom to learn and the freedom to live a full life. Their freedom matters too. Kevin and Irina McCarthy were also killed at the scene, leaving their two-year-old son Aiden to wander alone during the chaos. The little boy was not harmed. In fact, a family member tells the Chicago Sun-Times, Kevin died protecting his son, saying, quote, he had Aiden under his body when he was shot. A GoFundMe page has raised more than $1.8 million in just 13 hours. More than 34,000 people donating money to help the boy on what the organizer calls an unexpected journey, including Vice President Kamala Harris and Second Gentleman Doug Emhoff, who made an unscheduled stop in Highland Park on Tuesday, meeting with law enforcement and local politicians who are also grieving. From President Joe Biden and from our country, so sorry for what you all have experienced. This should never have happened. We talk about it being senseless. It is senseless. It is absolutely senseless. And we do know that nine others remain in the hospital this morning. Those ranges of age between 14 and 17. One family, three people were injured, worried their son may succumb to his injuries.